right, stay here, little ones. Just a little bit more, and... Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. I really need that bunny. I have babies to feed. I have myself to feed. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to run out of energy. Oh, no. Uh, well, at least I tried. All right, and all four of you are still here. Good job keeping up with me. That was pretty exhausting. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Some food just literally ran right past my nose and I wasn't able to grab it in time. That poor little mole. It was probably terrified. But thankfully, there's some more bunnies right over there. Oh, stay close, little ones. The lightning is a threat because it can indeed start off. Oh, and there's a little mole right in front of us too. I wonder if I can eat that. The lightning is indeed a threat because it can start a forest fire. And those are bad news. Come on. Got it! Oh, thank goodness. Those are very bad news for us. Uh-oh, where's my babies? One, two, three. Crows flying overhead. The fourth one over here. I know, I know. I was the one to eat this time. But hello, everyone, and welcome back. Oh, the leaves are falling for autumn. Welcome back to Shelter 2, where we are currently trying to find a place that we will be able to grab enough food to feed our little ones. Got a little vole there. All right, who's meowing the most and the hungriest, hmm? There's three of our babies. Oh, oh no, here. Oh geez, I don't know why that one was not well. Have I not been feeding them enough? Oh my gosh, all right. We need to find more food for our little ones because I really worry that we weren't feeding them enough just then. And is this gonna lead us into a new place? Come on, you four. The prey will migrate with the seasons and that will force us to have to go with them. The obligate carnivores, which means that our lynxes will only be eating. Wow, where are we now? Oh, look at this lake! Wow! But as obligate, obligate carnivores, our lynxes only will be able to eat meat. And it looks like the bunnies have actually migrated over to this big, beautiful lake. Hopefully we can get some good hunting. Let's target one. Yes! Alright, here you go, little ones. I'll try to find another one very quickly, right over here. Grab all of you another bit of food. Which one? Which one looks like it's not paying attention? The yes is obligate carnivores. Our lynxes have to go ahead and eat whatever meat they can find that they can catch. And that's really the tricky part. All right, one, two cubs. You guys already fed, so it's time for these two to get a turn. There we go. And for lynxes, they are not one of the biggest of the cat species, so they actually usually stick. Oh, and then there's a little food for mom. Thank you very much. No, 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 that's mine. I need something too, little ones. And I think we left a skull over here, so let's go and fetch that real quick. All right, any other food that I can feed all of you? But yes, lynxes are obligate carnivores, which means that they do need to eat meat. And they are not one of the bigger of the mini cat species. So the prey that they are able to overtake typically are rabbits, as you have noticed. We have been chasing down and pursuing many, many a lagomorph, as rabbits are known as from a more scientific term. However, it looks like there's some other prey down here. I think these might be deer. We're gonna use extreme caution in approaching them. You would not find Canadian lynxes chasing down deer. However, Eurasian lynxes, which are the species that our mama lynx right here is actually based off of, they will hunt deer if they get a chance, mostly because, especially during the winter, they don't really have a better opportunity for their normal prey. All right, all right. OK, 
Okay, we've got to jump to get the deer. Got it. Oh, go, 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 go! But if I could get a deer, we could feed the whole family. Alright, let's see if we can manage this. Alright, come on. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, Mama Lynx. Oh, she ran out of energy before we could hunt that deer. Curses. Yes, that's what I have been reading. So Eurasian lynxes are the only species of lynx that will actually try to pursue ungulates, which are deer or other species that have hooves. There we go. All right, all of you can have a little bit of food and I'll try to get more in just a second. Oh, and our first winter is coming. So the Iberian lynx and the Canadian lynx will focus almost entirely on lagomorph prey, which happens to be, oh, there's this deer again though, on lagomorph prey, which are the rabbits, the arctic hares, things like that. And when it comes to the Eurasian lynx, Yes! When it comes to the Eurasian lynx, she will actually end up hunting deer for the simple reason that during the winter there are not enough bunnies or rabbits or hares where they live to be able to feed. Oh, there we go. That should take care of our babies for quite a while. Thank goodness. Oh, is there still more food? Mom, can you have something too? Nope, it's fading away. All right. Let's carry on our search for shelter and our search for food. But the ecosystem is different where the Eurasian lynx lives. So during its winter, it's not this overabundance of Arctic hares that the Canadian lynxes get to enjoy. And so during winter for the Eurasian lynx, they will hunt down young moose even, or roe deer, or reindeer, red deer, They'll go through quite a few of those uh, ungulates, which are the ones with the hooves, the mini creatures I just noted and talked about. I wonder if we can walk across the ice. All right, come along, little ones. We need to find something to eat. And they're able to do that not only because those are just what the prey they have to choose from are in the area of. Uh, sorry, that made no sense. They're able to hunt those ungulates, not just because those are the only prey that they can really try to aim for, but because the Eurasian lynx is the largest species of lynx. And so they're bigger and able to take on that risk. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a beautiful feather. What the heck? However, it also concerns me greatly that we have found a feather. Where are our cubs? One, two. Where are the others? Where are the other cubs? Where are your siblings, little ones? Where are they? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, we need food, like right now. Oh geez, okay, we need food like right now for the little white cub. Okay, where are the, the bunnies? Where are the rabbits? Anything? Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, and now Mama is too tired. Can I carry my baby? Are you just panicking? Ah, that breaks my heart. Okay. All right, all right, all right. But I wouldn't be able to carry the, the deer to my baby. All right, let's come over here. I've got to move quickly. This is really a life or death situation now. 
And the mother is so tired. There, 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 there. Okay, come on, come on. The snow has just settled. Please, please, please. Give me enough energy to do this. Okay, there. Okay, back. Back. Where's our baby? One, two. Where are the other babies? Three. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. Hang in there, hang in there. Oh my gosh, that was going to break my heart into tiny little pieces. Oh. Oh my gosh. See, and that's the kind of desperation and the pressure that would push a lynx to take on something that could be as deadly as a deer. Deer are not easy prey. It's not going to be easy for mama lynx to be able to hunt a deer. It'd be easier to just hunt rabbits all day long, but they're not going to, rabbits aren't going to be either as abundant for the Eurasian lynx and the rabbits are also, oh, there's another feather on the ground. What? That worries me. I want to keep the babies safe after all. All right, I want to find more deer. I liked it best when my whole family was able to find something to eat. And winter is a tough time. All of them are with me for now. Oh my goodness. All right, hang on there, little ones. Okay, there. Oh, thank goodness. More food. I cannot afford to miss this rabbit. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Got another rabbit. Oh, and a, one of the babies was too far away. Little one, if you had been closer, I would have been able to feed you. These two have always been bigger, so... Oh, look, and now I can carry the babies? <laughs> okay. All of you, stay here. I need to feed the two smaller ones. Walking across the frost-crusted crust snow. Trying to sneak up on a rabbit that's like a little bit of food and survival wrapped up in snow itself with its white fur. Whew, okay, thank goodness. Now let's wait for the two smaller ones. These two. Whew, okay. I think we can hopefully make it. It would be good if we could feed Mama Lynx, but at this point she seems to be carrying on a little bit of her own strength. Oh my word. And we've got to make it through winter. Whoa, okay. I don't see any more deer, but I would like to find them. But I do think that's interesting. Again, the Eurasian lynx can only hunt the deer because it's so big. It is the biggest of all of the lynx species. <gasps> and what do we have here? A pheasant? There's a deer. I would rather take the deer. I would rather take the deer. Come on. Yes! Oh, yes. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Got overexcited. Sorry. All right, children. I'll do my best, and hopefully they will be able to survive into winter. All right, my friends. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. Yes, 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 yes. All right, you four. Hopefully we can get you through your first winter. And they will actually be with us for quite a few seasons because many of the cat species keep their children with them for longer than a year, often as long as two or even three or four years, depending on the cat species. Not that a lynx is a big cat, but just to reference some of the others quickly. So this is not the first winter that we have to get them through, but I do hope it will be a successful one. So let's continue exploring, trying to teach them a bit more about the world. And maybe, I know you're hungry too, and maybe discovering more of the collectibles that might give them some more insight into the land that they have been born into. 
in the place where hopefully they will be able to survive. I see you, pheasant. Come on, come on, come on. Get the pheasant. Oh, yes. All right, and we found a pheasant. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, all right. So these two are here. Where are our other cubs? Right over here. I feel like this one is one of the smallest, so we'll go ahead and drop this over here. And there's even more prey in the distance. So we'll find food. All of the creatures, after all, need to be able to survive the winter. And if you are not going to migrate away like the birds, you will be somewhere. So all right, my friends, if you could, do please leave a like for Mama Lynx and the fact we did not lose our little white lynx cub. I had my heart torn in two for just a moment, thinking we would. And if you could go ahead and consider subscribing to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, that would be wonderful. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>